Hello guys. Now in this video, let's understand how to generate JWT token for S2S call and what is our requirement. So if you see over here, we have this finance app and it has APIs. We have some other service, let's say HR app and this service wants to consume the APIs of this finance app. Okay. So here you see one service calls the API of other service and the user is not calling API. But then we need to make sure that the HR app, it should be authenticated to consume API. So again, we have a web API project that is finance app, which is running in Visual Studio. And of course, we want to consume the APIs from this finance app. And we have already configured Azure AD authentication for this finance app in our previous video. So basically, we have added app registration for this finance app and app registration for this HR app in Azure portal. And we have also made the required code changes in Visual Studio as well. That is, we added the required tenant ID, client ID of this finance app in Visual Studio app settings file. So again, we have implemented this in our previous video. Now in this video, let's understand how to generate JWT token. So we will not generate the token directly in this video, but let's understand what happens behind the scene when we generate the token. And let's also understand the fields which are required to generate the token. And again, let's go to our pane tab. So again, guys, we have this Azure tenant. And in this tenant, we created app registration for our finance app. So this is app registration. It is our finance app. Again, this is app registration. And here we exposed APIs. Then we created another app registration for our HR app. So this is our HR app. This is also app registration. And in this HR app, we provided the required API permission to consume APIs from this finance app. So here we provided the API permissions as well. Now guys observe this finance app of course it contains the APIs but these APIs they are not consumed by end user see there is no user is there in picture okay but this HR app it calls APIs of this finance app right so in order to make sure that this HR app is really the HR app which which we want to authenticate right so for that we have created something called client secret. So, so now as we want to make sure that only authenticated app should be able to consume this finance app API. So when this HR app tries to request the token, it provides the client ID and this client secret. See guys, every app registration, this HR app or finance app, it has client ID, right? So when this HR app, it tries to authenticate and tries to receive the JWT token, it provides its client ID. plus client secret. So finance app can verify whether client secret and client ID are valid and if valid, it authenticates it and it provides the required token. So now as we can guess, the first thing we need to provide is client ID of this HR app. That is the service which is consuming API. Second, we need to provide this client secret. Now the third thing is this HR app, it is requesting an access for this finance app, right? So if you remember for this finance app, we have added application ID URI. So that is nothing but actually our resource, right? So basically this HR app, it is trying to consume this finance app resource. So third field we need to provide to re receive the token is this resource and its value is this application ID URI. This is the third thing. And the fourth thing is type. 
that is token type and in this case it will be client credentials remember guys when we, when we call user authenticated api we provide the type as implicit but we, when you want to consume service authenticated api the type it should be client credentials so to generate the token we will provide client id of hr app client secret of hr app resource that is app id uri of finance app and then the type that is client credentials thank you guys